Both of our monsters have the same number of attack points, which means both of them are destroyed. I set one card face down before ending my turn. Normally, a monster summoned by blue Eye Spirit Dragon would be destroyed in the end phase of a turn in which it's summoned. But my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon's effect stops that from happening, which means my Azure Eyes is here to stay. It's my move. I draw a card and then activate the effect of my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. During my standby phase, my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon's effect lets me special summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard. Return, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, I activate Card of Demise. This card lets me draw until I have five cards in my hand. As long as I discard my hand in five turns. But I can promise you this duel won't last that long, Yugi. I will defeat you long before then. We'll see about that. Next, I activate a Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. By returning my Blue Eyes White Dragon to my hand, I destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Now you're defenseless, Yugi. That's not true. I still have my Ebon High Magician. We'll see what good that does you. I activate Trade In. This card lets me discard a level 8 monster to draw two cards. I discard a Blue Eyes White Dragon to draw two cards from my deck. And the card drawing doesn't stop there, Yugi. I activate Pot of Desires. Now, I banish the top 10 cards of my deck face down to draw two cards. Next, I activate Silver's Cry. This card lets me special summon my Blue Eyes White Dragon back from the graveyard. Welcome back, Blue Eyes. Now, I activate Swing of Memories. This card lets me special summon another Blue Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard. Two Blue Eyes White Dragons? Unlike my Blue Eyes White Dragon summoned by Silver, Silver's Cry at the end of my turn, this Blue Eyes White Dragon will become just a memory as it returns to the graveyard from which it came. But one turn with my Blue Eyes White Dragon is all I need, Yugi, because I'm planning to wipe you out with an onslaught of monsters right now. I summon Luster Dragon! My Luster Dragon has 1,900 attack points. Finally, I switch my Azure Eyes Silver Dragon into attack mode. You're finished, Yugi. I'll use the Blue Eyes White Dragon that I summoned back to the field with Swing of Memories to attack and destroy your Ebon High Magician. I activate my Ebon High Magician's special ability. Special ability? That's right, Kaiba. After you destroyed my back row with a wing beat of giant dragon, you thought I was left unable to activate any spell or trap cards. But you were wrong. When I summoned my Ebon High Magician, the two monsters I used to summon it became Xyz materials attached to my magician. Now, my Ebon High Magician's special ability lets me detach one of those Xyz materials from it to activate a spell or trap card from my hand during your turn. I detach an Xyz material from my Ebonheim Magician to activate Magic Cylinder from my hand. Magic Cylinder? This card reflects your Blue Eyes White Dragon's attack right back at you. You lose 3,000 life points. And since you only have 1,400 life points left, this duel is over. I won't go down that easily. I chain my spell card, Enemy Controller. I tribute my attacking Blue Eyes White Dragon to unlock my enemy controller's hidden mode. Not only does this prevent the backfire of my dragon's attack, but it also lets me take control of your Ebon High Magician. Hand it over, Yugi. Not so fast, Kaiba. I activate my Ebon High Magician's special ability once again by detaching its second Xyz material. I activate Dark Illusion from my hand. My Dark Illusion negates the activation of your enemy controller and destroys it. My Ebon High Magician is staying right where it is. Well played, Yugi. Well played. But your Ebon High Magician has no Ixies material left. That means you're cut off from any more spell or trap cards this turn. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Ebon High Magician! Since you've destroyed my Ebon High Magician, I get to activate its effect. When it's sent to the graveyard, I get to special summon a Dark Spellcaster from my deck in attack position. I special summon Dark Magician Girl!
My Dark Magician girl gains 300 attack points for each Dark Magician in my graveyard, giving it a total of 2,300 attack points. Then, thanks to my Ebon High Magician's effect, my Special Summon Magician strikes down one monster on your field. Since your Azure Eyes Silver Dragon's effect prevents me from destroying it, and your Luster Dragon is your only other monster that hasn't yet attacked, I'll strike down your Luster Dragon! Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician Girl! You lose 200 life points, and your Dark Magician Girl is destroyed! I set two cards face down and end my turn. It's my turn now. I draw. I activate Card of Sanctity. Now, we each draw from our decks until we have six cards in our hand. Thanks for the cards, Yugi. I've drawn Palladium Oracle Mahad. When I draw this card, I can special summon it to the field. Mahad is a trustworthy and ancient protector of my deck. He is a powerful ally, and I am proud to have him by my side. Next. I activate Pot of Greed. Now I draw two cards from my deck. But that's not all of the card drawing I'll be doing. I activate Pot of Desires. Just like you did on your previous turn, I banished the top ten cards of my deck face down to draw an additional two cards. Yeah, are you just going to draw cards or are you going to actually play them? If you insist, Kaiba, I activate Magic Formula. My Magic Formula increases the attack points of any spellcaster on my field by 700. I equip it to Mahad to increase its attack points to 3200. Finally, I activate this spell card, Diffusion Wave Motion. I give up 1000 life points to allow Mahad to attack all of your monsters. Palladium Oracle Mahad. Channel your power and attack Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon! Now, Mahad, attack Kaiba's Azure Eyes Silver Dragon! Your field is empty. I set four cards face down and then end my turn. It's your move. My field may be empty, but thanks to your card of sanctity, my hand is full. I draw. I activate the effect of the White Stone of Ancients by banishing it from my graveyard. I add a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard to my hand. Now, I reveal a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my hand to special summon Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon to my field! Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon? That's right, Yugi. I can special summon my Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon simply by revealing a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my hand. My Blue-Eyes Alternative White Dragon is just like my Blue-Eyes White Dragon, but with an added effect. Once per turn, my Alternative White Dragon can destroy any monster on your field. I activate its effect to destroy your Mahad. Oh, no. But that's okay. When Palladium Oracle Mahad leaves the field, it leaves behind a Dark Magician to protect me. Come forth, Dark Magician! Plus, when Magic Formula is sent to the graveyard, I gain 1,000 life points. Your Dark Magician doesn't stand a chance. I activate Return of the Dragon Lords! This card lets me return a level 7 or 8 dragon from my graveyard to the field. Return to me, Blue Eyes White Dragon! You're finished, Yugi. I activate Polymerization! I fuse the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon on my field with the Blue Eyes White Dragon on my field and the Blue Eyes White Dragon in my hand! Come forth, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! 4,500 attack points! Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, attack Yugi's Dark Magician! If you want to attack my magician, you'll have to find him first. I reveal my trap card, Magical Hats! Magical Hats materialize! My Dark Magician is hiding under one of these four hats. Good luck finding him. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, attack the rightmost hat! It looks like you missed. Unfortunately for you, I get to try again. I activate my Ultimate Dragon special ability. By sending a Blue Eyes Fusion Monster from my extra deck to my graveyard, I get to attack again. I send my Blue Eyes Twist Burst Dragon to my graveyard and attack the middle hat! 
missed again. My Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon still has one attack left. I send my Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to my graveyard to strike once more. Attack the hat to the left. Strike three. Now that my Dark Magician's location is no longer concealed, I dispel my magical hats. Even though all three of my attacks failed, I still intend to win this duel with my Neo Ultimate Dragon. I reveal my face down card. Ring of Destruction! My Ring of Destruction destroys my dragon and inflicts 4,500 points of damage to both of our life points. You would sacrifice your dragon and the rest of your life points? <laughs> my dragon, yes, but my life points, no. I didn't come here for a tie, Yugi. I came here to win. I activate Ring of Defense. This card shields my life points from the explosive impact of my Ring of Destruction. Now only you lose 4,500 life points. This duel is over. You're right about one thing, Kaiba. This duel is over. But you're not the one who will be evading the damage from your Ring of Destruction. I am. I reveal my trap card, Mystical Ref Panel. My Mystical Ref Panel displaces your protective ring, shifting it from your side of the field to mine. Your ultimate dragon is vanquished by your Ring of Destruction, and your life points are reduced to zero, while mine are safe. <laughs> I thought you might try something like that, Yugi, which is why I held on to this. I activate... Diffusion! I split my monsters back into the three dragons I used to summon it. My life points are safe. Plus, since there are four monsters on the field, my life points are about to get a big boost. I activate my trap card, Gift of the Mystical Elf! This card increases my life points by 300 for each monster on the field. Since there are four monsters on the field, I gain a grand total of 1,200 life points. Since I'm still in my battle phase, I still have three more attacks that I can use to finish you off. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, attack and destroy Yugi's Dark Magician. I activate my face down card, Mirror Force. This card reflects your monster's attack back at you, destroying all of your blue eyes white dragons. Not so fast, Yugi. I activate the effect of Return of the Dragon Lords. By banishing it from my graveyard, I protect all of my dragons that are threatened by any one of your card effects. Your mirror force is nullified. No, oh, no. My monster's attack continues, which means your Dark Magician is destroyed and you lose 500 life points. My Dark Magician. Now, it's my next Blue Eyes turn to attack. Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack Yugi directly and end this duel. I activate my last face down card, Nutrient Z. This card gives me 4,000 life points right before your dragon strikes. I'm still in this duel. For the moment, yes, for the moment. But I still have one more blue eyes with which to attack. And since you have no more cards to activate on your field and only 2,600 life points left, this attack will finish you off. Blue eyes, white dragon, attack Yugi directly and end this duel!